and storm track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. I just wanted to show this off and it is on the 27 uh, news Facebook page as well. Stretching from the top of the cor uh, image here all the way back. I've kind of got these arrows pointing to the direct path, but we're able to see from an aerial view that EF2 tornado that's uh, moved south and east of Evansville on the 8th. So about a week ago, uh, we really haven't had a lot of clear conditions to see aerially the extent of the path, but uh, always something to, uh, interesting to see is kind of what we call the scar of that tornado and it kind of begins right around here and then again if you follow my finger you can just faintly see that line where that center uh, of the tornado passed on through. We've been quiet over the last day or so. We're sandwiched between a low pressure system and a high pressure system. They're competing with really who wants to dominate our weather. And that's the reason why it's been so windy today. If you stepped outside, you've noticed, or maybe you've even seen the flags uh, blowing in the wind, the trees blowing in the wind. It's because we've got a very strong low pressure system to our north and an equally strong high pressure system to our southwest. As winds turn counterclockwise around the low and clockwise around that high pressure system, they're kind of meeting and mainly staying out of the west. And that's the reason why we're going to remain breezy throughout the rest of this evening and overnight as that low pressure system continues to scoot its way out of the Hudson Bay area and then eventually moves more into the east coast. So we're going to be breezy here for the next several hours. Gusts already upwards of 30 to almost 40 miles per hour in Monroe at this hour. All day winds have been breezy. Even though they're out of the west southwest, they're not bringing in really any warmer air, uh, maybe by a degree or two. But what they are causing is a wind chill. That pink number there is what it feels like outside compared to our actual air temperatures here in the black, ranging from the mid to upper 20s to low 30s. It more or less feels like some of us are even approaching the low teens. And as I mentioned, those winds are going to stay breezy. This is our gust line here as we go overnight into your early Sunday morning, sustained winds anywhere between 10 to 25 miles per hour. And that's going to create not as cold of a wind chill this evening compared to going into your Saturday, but still wind chill values are going to be uh, right around 10 degrees, maybe into those single digits briefly, but we're not expecting those wind chill values to dip below zero. But again, it is going to be a bit of a breezy evening as this low pressure system scoots its way eastward. But the high pressure system seems to be winning in terms of overall weather. We're not dealing with a whole lot of activity from that low pressure system. That high pressure system continues to dominate, which is why we're once again going to expect more sunshine into your Sunday and then into your Monday as well. Eventually those winds do die down and turn out of the south. So we'll welcome back a little bit more cloud cover maybe as we head into your Monday and we're going to continue to warm on up as we go further into the week thanks to those southerly winds. But we're expecting the main bulk of moisture to hold off until Thursday night into Friday. That's when a very interesting low pressure system looks to move on through kind of the, the Midwest and possibly brings us another chance for some snow. But what we're not really welcoming in is any cooler than normal air. We are going to continue to stay warmer than average, what looks to be through the end of the month. There is a look at your seven day forecast that rain chance Tuesday into Tuesday night really negligible, maybe a shower or two. It doesn't look too great. I think the best chance for precip is actually going to be on Friday. Uh, latest model runs continue to kind of weaken our chances, but I'm going to keep it at 40%. I'm not going to get rid of it quite yet. I want to see if it continues to kind of weaken or maybe move off to our east and more model runs. But there's a look at your seven day forecast 50s by Wednesday. Are you ever driving and it's so windy you feel like your car is going to like tip like, over? Yeah, sometimes I feel like when I'm driving, I'm like, does it look like I'm like swerving all over the place, but the cars around me aren't? No. So maybe it's just like I'm feeling no, the pressure happens. of the wind. That's why when wind there is, is really windy days, we do say for like especially semis to be careful because yeah. that's more surface area for the winds to hit. So two hands on the wheel and you should be fine. Two eyes on the road. Two eyes on the road, two hands on the wheel. Mm -hmm. And, drive and safe. two people to read this next tease. Okay, it's a busy Saturday for sports with four Badger teams in action. And Luke, that includes a top five matchup in Madison. Hey guys, that's right. A season series on the line between the